Let me start with a quote here. It comes from economist Thomas Sowell. It's hard to imagine a more stupid or dangerous way of making decisions than putting those decisions into the hands of people who pay no price for being wrong. Well, today I'm going to highlight an example of horrendous decision-making that impacts Canada's largest province specifically, but Canada's economy as a whole. It also illustrates, though, a profound change in the Canadian attitude that I think very few of us are willing to admit to. First off, I'm talking about the Ontario Liberals' mind-blowing incompetence when it comes to energy policy, specifically in the area of renewables and electricity generation. It's a great example of the dangers of thinking that any policy that says it's green is in. That's good. No, it's not. The details are important. Now, let me give you just one example from the Auditor General's report, one of the many, into the incompetence here. This one should go in the Hall of Fame. As the Auditor General discovered, the Ontario provincial government paid hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions, and contracted to pay hundreds of millions more in the coming decade to landowners who agreed to put up small-scale solar energy farms in their property. One big problem, there was no cost-effective way to actually connect them to the provincial power grid. Wasted money. The Auditor General looked at billions of dollars in renewable energy projects included in, quote, normal due diligence for an expenditure of this magnitude had not been followed, end of quote. Really? Between 2006-2014, electricity bills in Ontario rose 70%. Listen, Listen to these numbers, though. The Ontario consumer paid $37 billion above market rates in just eight years. On top of the $37 billion, this is a beauty, think of this, for every year, From 2015 to about 2030, consumers and businesses in Ontario pay an average of $7.8 billion above market rates because of this government mismanagement. That's $133 billion needlessly taken out of consumers' pockets. Hey, you remember when the Prime Minister did that cross-country town hall meeting tour in February? There got a lot of coverage. A tearful woman comes up to him saying, my heart, my heat rather, my heat and hydro now cost me more than my mortgage. I know now only uh, I not only work 75 hours a week, I stay and work 15 hours a day just so I don't lose my house. There is nothing like a sharp rise in your hydro bill to get people's attention. The incompetence of the McKinsey Wind Energy fiasco now has direct consequences. Now it's interesting to note that all the other scandals, I mean, they had some outrageous things there. Do you remember that cancellation of two power plants? And they were done clearly in order just to increase the Liberals' election uh, chances. They came out originally and said, well, there's a cancellation fee, it'd be about $40 million. Well, it turns out it was $1.1 billion. But yet, you know what? There's still a huge chunk of people in Ontario who backed the Liberals in, that, in the next election. But here's the thing. Once it starts paying or costing people directly, it seems to be another story. I think that gets to the heart, by the way, of why people don't sweat rising deficits, unfunded liabilities, uh, government waste, bad economic policy, because if they're not getting charged directly, they're not getting a bill, and they're not losing their job because of bad policy, they don't, we don't seem to care. If instead we were billed directly for incompetence, just like what's just happened in Ontario with their energy policy, I think it would get people's attention. Which brings me to the second aspect of this fiasco. And this is the part that I think is really reflects a change in Canadian attitudes. The wind government's trying to win back voters. They're going to have an election next year. So they've introduced something called the Fair Hydro Plan. Essentially says you get 25% off your power bill. Doesn't mean the power bill is still not there. No, they're just moving it around. But you get 25% off yours. I mean, it's a blatant bribe to voters, but not with their own money. That's the key. It's with money from future generations. This week, the Auditor General came out with another report that says that the plan is going to cost $21 billion. And that's only if the government manages to balance the books for the next 20 years. Well, that's not a safe bet. But if Ontario goes into deficit, the cost of the so-called fair hydro plan could cost as much as $69 billion. Now, I thought that number was high. I wasn't comfortable with the present value calculation used by the Auditor General. But it doesn't matter. It's a multi-billion dollar bill that's going to get presented to tax, uh, sorry, teenagers, toddlers, 20-somethings for hydro use today. And the response from a huge proportion of the population is, that's okay with me. And that's the change in Canadian attitudes I'm talking about. It used to be that people actually valued paying their own way. But I think that it's actually into a majority of Canadians 
who don't think that way any longer. They have a sense of entitlement that says, to hell with who has to pay as long as it's not me. That's why the attitude, you see it toward work ethic too. It's no longer respected. We don't hear that a person earns a good living because they work longer hours or maybe have more training or focus or talent, whatever it is. It's simply they have more money and I want more of it. But, you know, deficits, free hydro, free bridge tolls, the fair hydro plan. You know what? Thomas Sowell sums that one up up very well. He says, for short-term political gain, in order to make certain constituencies happy, in order to give people what they want with no sacrifice, we are willing to throw future generations under the bus. Well, the fair hydro plan is a terrific example of that. The Ontario consumer is going to get a break on their their, their power bill, but they know, uh, totally know that that cost is going to get passed on to future generations and it doesn't bother a heck of a lot of people.